Hey church, so here we are. Um, as we come towards the end of Holy Week, the most incredible <laughs> week in the history of the world and this coming weekend of unbelievable celebration that we should be having. Like, I mean, church, I, I want to encourage you, like there should be no like greater time of our celebration than this weekend. This is the weekend of the history of the world, past, present, and future. It is. And I keep saying those words, but I'm just like, um, want to emphasize to us the glory, the grace, the love, the mercy, all that has been reached out to us. And as we consider all that, I want to read some scriptures that we have met, read many times in devotionals and just uh, honestly, just incredibly humbling verses that we read. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper. And the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything, and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, poured water into a basin, and then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that he had around him. You know, uh, not only are these humbling scriptures from our Lord as he was teaching us a lesson on the heart of his followers and how we are to serve those around us and that it's not about us, I look at this and I think, you know, for my last hours on earth, what would I be wanting to do? Think about it. If you knew today was the last day you had, what would your efforts be and what would you be trying to do and accomplish? <laughs> would washing feet even come to mind? Amazing love, <laughs> amazing love that he has shown us, that he has modeled for us. I pray today that as you look around you in this world of confused and lost people, broken relationships, broken and tattered by sin, that you would see the individuals around you that Jesus wants you to wash their feet. And I am saying that figuratively, saying who it is that he's placed before you that needs to see someone love them and serve them. Let's be his church.